Around the end of last year, I tried to recreate Minecraft in Unity, but you can only hunt each other down. Minecraft Manhunt. Let's say it turned out a bit... interesting. The first thing I realized was that I did not know how to make a world with millions of blocks and infinite terrain. I was panicking, but then I thought of an amazing but simple idea. I could just make the world out of a flat plane with a very big texture, and I could make trees and structures spawn on top of the massive plane. Because I made the world out of a flat plane, I couldn't add mining. And without mining you couldn't get to the nether, and if you couldn't get to the nether you couldn't beat the game. It took me forever to solve this problem, but in the end I went with the simplest option. I made it so four nether portals would appear at a random position, using this world generation script. But before you entered the portal, you were required to have at least one suit of armor. Speaking of armor, I decided to make more sets of armor than there are in the real game. Here they all are. Wood armor, coal armor, copper armor, redstone armor, gold armor, lapis lazuli armor, iron armor, diamond armor, and netherite armor. If you are wondering how you get the armor, then don't worry, I'll tell you. You can mine the ore that appears on the surface if you have a strong enough armor level. So for example the first thing you chop is a tree, and then coal, then copper, and so on. After that, I decided to make all of the mobs, their animations, models, and their AI. The passive mobs work by picking a random point in the world, and then traveling to it using the Unity Avnav Mesh system. The hostile mobs work by continuously checking the distance between itself and the player, if the distance becomes less than the predetermined value, the mob will chase the player. Also using the Unity Nav Mesh system. This is a shot showing every mob in the game. After you dodge the hunter and power up, it's time to dive into the nether portal. I made the nether work similarly to the overworld. You find the predetermined nether fortress and collect all of the needed blaze rods and go back through the portal. You come out of the portal into the stronghold and collect ender pearls while being careful to avoid the warden. You put all of the eyes into the portal frames and jump into the end. The ender dragon flies around aimlessly while you have to dodge the enderman and be careful not to get too close to the ender dragon, while still trying to attack it. And after all of that, you jump into the end portal for a final time, and beat the hunter. By the way, the hunter can either be a computer or a friend. There is no online, and even if there was, I still wouldn't be able to publish this game for obvious reasons. Also, the reason I didn't make the game in first person view, is because I wanted to make the game local multiplayer, and the last time I checked, you can only have one mouse plugged into your computer. So it wouldn't have worked very well. It's time for some gameplay footage.
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.